Welcome back to Uncharted Florida. Recently, I spoke to a few commercial pompano fishermen and they shared with me their best pompano rigs and exactly how to tie them. Whether you're surf fishing, pier fishing, a beginner or an expert, these rigs are gonna help maximize your chances of catching fish. So let's jump right in and I'll share all these details with you. You'll need a two by six, about 18 to 24 inches long, three dowels or rods, about three to four inches long each, and a spring clamp. Drill three holes just larger than the diameter of the rods at approximately this spacing and tap in your rods. Let's walk through tying the rig now. If you build it to this dimension, you'll get 14 inch spacing every time for each drop. Clamp the end of the leader material under the clamp. I like to use 25 pound fluorocarbon. I'll show this three times with green paracord and then tie a real one and cover float and hook selection at the end. Wrap the leader in this direction around the dowel rods and hang the leader spool off the back side of the board like this. Take the top line and wrap it around the bottom line eight to nine half turns, leaving a small opening that we'll use in the next step. I'm showing four turns only because the paracord is so thick that it won't cinch down if I do the eight to nine turns needed for an actual rig. Now take the line off the top peg and pass it through the opening. I like to hold the loop back on the top peg and pull slowly on both sides and the dropper loop will form. You can help the knots along and wet the line a bit if it's not sliding easily. There's your first dropper loop. Now move that loop directly under the clamp and do the process again. Now move the second loop to the clamp and form your third loop. You might wonder if the third loop is necessary. According to the commercial guys I spoke to, they always use three dropper loops. So in my book, I'll always do three as well. Now that we have our three dropper loops, we want to tie a loop at the end for the sinker. This is where you can do one of two things. You can use a snap swivel, or you can tie a loop, personal preference here. The loop is cheaper, but can sometimes be harder to take the sinker off when it's sandy and wet. Now let's tie a real one. Another common trend I heard from the commercial guys was to just use a float on the top hook only and theorize that you should match its color to the color of the local coquina shells at your beach. It's worth experimenting with. Two-watt circle hooks are the most common hook used.
Check out this video to see what I have done with proper bait selection and how you can land monster pompano like this one as well.